so this routine is my second day when I come back to the gym after the car accident and I thought I was nice to share this with you guys more with all of you that you should start coming to the gym or going to the gym and are in those first days that you don't know what machines to do so here i'm going to show you uh, five basic machines that you can use to have a nice workout easy but effective to hit your muscles the first exercise is press machine and this machine is pretty good because it have you to have support in your back while you are lifting heavy take this machine as a, as a friend of you in your routines because you can hit it a better group of muscles harder while you are lifting heavy so in this machine you can hit different muscles and you can do different exercises for example different ways to do the squat in press machine you can do it with your legs closed totally you're gonna hear your inner part of your quad if you were for example more uh, your legs open uh, in line with your shoulders it will ward you all in front of your leg right if you work with your foot outwards a little bit it will work your outer part of your leg so i recommend that you try to do these different exercises so you can hit different muscles in your leg something important that you cannot forget is do stretching even before and after you work out but also in between the exercises this is very important to you this stress the muscle every time you do any exercise and it's gonna help you avoid lesions in your muscles something important to do anytime you go to hit any machine is that first try to do it without any way first because you're gonna get warm your muscle to the exercise try to get your form perfect but also because you wanna try to do this mind muscle connection but you can get this once you go with your mind thinking all the movement that are you doing and try to see what muscles are doing the force that you think about with your muscles it's like you're thinking with your muscles you feel all the process of the movement and it's going to help you grow your muscle because you are conscious of all the movement and all the force and it's a great exercise that you always be concentrated in what are you doing while you are working out at the gym this exercise is also pretty good for your legs and also it have a great support to your back and it's the sit-up squat in this machine you're gonna go down 90 degree angle motion so it's different angle from the press machine and in this machine you're gonna feel a lot of force in your legs so this is a great machine to do now i don't tell you go straight to the heavy weight try to do with no way at all try to go really deep it's gonna be easy for you go deep and go up i promise you that it's better and you get better results if you do with no way try to go deep and go up it's gonna heal your muscle better you're gonna get the form perfect and you're gonna grow muscle once you get comfortable and you get accustomed to this exercise then challenge yourself put a little template 15 play 25 35 45 that is the way that you build strengthening that you build force that you grow muscle that every time you challenge yourself for something else you don't get accustomed to your workout you don't do the same thing over and over for three months and one year you don't gonna go anywhere you are not challenging your body to do different things another good and exercise to heal your legs is leg extension i love this machine because 
it is super comfortable you are sit down you focus your energy and all in your legs this exercise is pretty good for your quads and you can also play different ways to hit different muscles but you can do both legs but also you can do a single leg you're gonna make this harder for example let's weigh and raise the weight so you're gonna do harder and challenge yourself in this moment i'm doing with no way at all because it was my second day that i i combat to the chin after a car accident i have used try to figure out how i feel with, with the machines and if, if you are in the beginning it is good it's easy don't worry if you don't use any way at all it's okay eventually you are going to use way you're gonna raise your weight you're gonna stay there you're gonna build strengthening you're gonna build force the way that i work here i do 10 reps with 40 pounds i mean i don't do this right now but i usually do that 10 reps with 40 pounds because those 10 reps are for getting warm my muscle once my muscles are warm then i I lower the weight like a four or five pounds and I do just single leg and I'm gonna do 10 reps. I raise my weight to 50 pounds and then I do 10 reps and then I raise my weight to 20 pounds and I do eight reps. These are going to pop my my quads and going to help me grow muscle that is the way that you uh build strengthening your muscles if you don't do this machine this is a great machine to do and build muscle easy for finish i do this super set between adductor and abductor and these two machines are kind of hard to say the names but uh they were unfocused different muscles for example adductor were the inner muscles of your legs while abductor were the outer muscles of your leg so i found kind of really nice to mix these two machines so i always do like super set with these two machines but also i tried to do a little game while i was working out for doing this more fun i do 30 reps with each machine but i do 10 reps really open and then i do sure and then 10 again open and that way i force my muscles to work differently and they are building muscle so that is a great way to you try and also you can play with it a way if you want you can start with low weight and then you finish with heavy weight these machines allow you to raise your weight and try to build strengthening your muscles because you can go for low to heavy weight easy in the other machine that is abductor i also i do the same i do longer range of motion and then shorter range of motion and it's going to heal different muscles and also it is building strengthening in my body and also i'm burning fat because i'm doing in super set what does that mean that i working now without stop without resting passing from one exercise to the other without give allow my body to rest so my body force harder and in order of that they get energy from the fat to keep working out so that is pretty important when you are doing supersets supersets are really focused on build strengthening on burn fat and build muscle at the end i do a little core workout in my first two weeks after my car accident i was really focused on two things burn fat and build muscle so in order to burn fat i was doing cardio before i start working my muscles why before because i was focusing on burn fat so i tried to get my body really tired to go to warm machine so that way when i was doing cardio my body was burning my calories burning my energy once i hit the, the machines my body was exhausted and i was getting energy from the fat that is the way that we burn fat
I do not recommend you do this if you are lifting heavy because you will spend all your energy in the cardio once you go to lift heavy you don't gonna have energy it's gonna be really hard for you so i used to do this because i was lifting light i didn't use in a heavy way i wasn't lifting heavy and i was focused to burn fat i also was focused on do abs all these two weeks i was doing abs every single day after workout because i want to build and get ton on my core because i lost a lot of ton while i was in the hospital because i lost a lot of weight my core was really soft once i come back to the shin and i start working out the first thing that i get was a lot of fat in my belly and i had to burn that i don't know why it happened i started eating more and my my belly just get big and i had to focus in cardio and also abs for two weeks and it helped me burn fat and build strengthening in my core if you saw this uh it's at 10 a.m and i eat my breakfast i don't tie my core you want to tie my core this is my core tie my core wasn't like this before it was terrible so i promise you if you keep constantly working out if you go to the gym with your goals in your mind that you know what are you looking for are you looking for build muscle are you looking for burn fat are you looking for get strengthening in your core what are you looking for it depends of that then you do certain steps to getting your goals so if you are looking for burn calories and burn fat i suggest you start doing cardio if you are not lifting heavy do cardio before workout if you are lifting heavy do cardio after workout also if you try to get straightening in your core i really suggest don't do the biggest and longest uh, workout for abs after after work let's but do two three exercise every single day working your core use uh, 10 reps of five exercise after you finish your routines i swear it's going to give you a strengthening and it's going to build muscle in your core or your body is tired you are burning really fat there you are working your maximums also i cannot forget to tell you guys you have to work with the deficit of calories it doesn't matter that you do all this hard work if you don't manage your deficit of calories so what i did i check all the things that i eat i share the sugar levels and i try to change these change certain foods for other things that have low calories and in that way i get my calories lower and because i keep working out the same or harder you can see the results because you are losing faster way because you are not eating the same calories so one thing is that you really have to eat vegetables and protein as chicken fish i i don't know uh, some of you like red meat i don't eat red meat and i suggest don't eat red meat but it is all on you i cannot tell you red meat is associated with a lot of sicknesses as cancer i don't know if it's true or not but i just don't like red meat so i eat chicken i eat a fish i eat vegetables guys i'm going to do a video in my blog about what certain vegetables you should avoid and what do you eat because that is so important i really have hard time to figure out how to stop the bloating in my stomach and it was just diet i feel this with diet i feel it with know what what food i should eat and what food i should avoid and i don't tell you that you never can eat this or that you had to try to lower the possibilities to eat the things that you love and also don't need a lot just sometimes and it's going to help you 
avoid blotting. Also, I'm going to talk about uh, other things that you can help your body to lower that blood in stomach. And by the way, this routine was, I think, was in May. And now we are in August, like three months ago. And now I'm lifting heavier and I feeling great. And I come back with my core, so I'm super happy. So I hope guys that you keep in mind what I tell you today in this video. Everything is possible if you work consistently and if you keep your goals in your mind and you challenge yourself every single day don't forget guys give them side to the video and i appreciate all of you that follow my blog and also my fitness channel and also guys i invite you to check my tiktok and my instagram that i post in also exercises there um, thank you guys um Talk to you later. Bye-bye.